Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So the FabFitFun Summer 2021 edit sale is live and we are in the middle of it for annual members and I am going to do my usual video where I go through the sale and talk about as much as I can remember about each of the products that I have learned about. As usual, I don't claim to be an expert so if you have any input or advice on any of the products I talk about or don't talk about, please feel free to leave your feedback in the comments below. I would really love that. And I wanted to mention, is it just me or is anyone else? Else kind of feeling like FabFitFun's having too many sales and the excitement is taken away now from this sale. Like I always used to have such a buildup of excitement waiting six weeks to get to the next sale, but there have been like three since the add-on sale and now I don't even really feel excited to shop this sale. So I'm kind of bummed about that, but hopefully I left feedback for them. Hopefully they don't keep doing this. I mean, one sale in between the sales is fine, but I think they had three. Anyway, that's just, I'm just curious how people feel about that. How do you feel about that? Let me know. Let's talk. Anyway, uh, I'm going to jump into recording my computer screen now, and I'm going to go through the sale and show you what's in my cart, etc. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here we are in my cart. We're going to start off with my cart, and this is what I have in it. I don't have much it is let's see what the total is $42.99 and I will probably I'll probably cut some of this we'll see uh, so the first thing is this grown alchemist age repair gel mask pomegranate extract and peptide complex so I really really like this one I have one and a half right now I just don't often see it in sales so I threw one in my cart I figure if I don't get to using it in a time frame that I feel is good I can gift it it's a really really nice gel mask it is very very cooling i like to use it after i use maybe like a, a chemical exfoliant or a chemical exfoliant mask and then i put this on and it just feels so soothing and the smell is really nice and and subtle but yet like botanical and i really this is one of the few masks where i actually want to not do anything else and just lay back and close my eyes and take slow deep breaths i really really enjoy using this mask i was very surprised how much i liked it so um like i said i don't see it in sales so often so Gone Alchemist is an Australian company and cruelty free and botanical and all of that. So uh, I really like their company as well. I have decided that whenever I purchase from a sale, I am going to donate a few dollars to whatever charity they're supporting. So there's that. I was very skeptical skeptical about Mighty Patches. People love them. They're very, very highly reviewed, um, highly rated, I mean. And I, they don't, these particular ones don't work for me on anything that's not a white head that's like ready to come out. But when I use it on a white head, it really speeds up the time where all of the junk comes out and then it, it heals much more quickly when I do use a Mighty Patch on it. These are super thin super invisible I forget I'm wearing them and I have heard that they you can even put them on and wear them under makeup they're that subtle so these are really really nice they have other kinds of patches that do other things like this one and I have never tried any other mighty patches before I have a lot of dark spots I thought I would go ahead and give this a try there aren't very many there are only six patches but if you've used this let me know what you think. I am quite curious. I don't see any ingredients offhand that I know of that are supposed to be brightening for dark spots. So I'm wondering, maybe it's this one, Trihalose. I don't know what that is, Trihalose. Anyway, so um, you could check this against Skin Charisma so quickly. I'll show you Skin Charisma right now. If you copy the ingredients list, this is a good way to learn about ingredients if you're interested. So this is skincharisma.com. I'll put the link in the description box below. If you go here and then you click on cosmetic analyzer right here, and then you paste the ingredients list into this box, and then you click analyzed product, then it will come up with an analysis of all of the ingredients and you can look into it. So here's a quick, 
quick notes kind of section and then you go down and it'll tell you more about each of these. So you can see niacinamide is in it, which is a wonderful ingredient for all skin types. I highly recommend. Um, so that's a brightening one. And then this one, trine tranexamic acid is a brightening ingredient. So it has no rating, which is kind of interesting from either of these um, uh, organizations. I prefer the CIR, which is the Cosmetic Ingredients Review, and you can look them up and you can look up ingredients on their website and they'll show you actual medical journal articles about those ingredients. If you want to learn, EWG people, it's kind of hip, hit and miss. People say it's not reliable as re it's not yeah, people say it's not reliable. <laughs> anyway, this is a really great way to learn more about ingredients if you would like to do that. I usually go into more detail. Um, you can look uh, at some of my other videos. I, I go into great detail in some of my videos about how to learn more about ingredients. So this is a good way though if you just want to quickly check what each ingredient does and if it is bad for you. Um, for instance, here it's saying glycolic acid is so good for sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend using Skin Charisma to help you start learning more about ingredients. And you can even create a login for yourself and start, um, uh, you know, flagging different ingredients that you know you want to look for or avoid. So anyway, that's uh, briefly Skin Charisma. So let's get back to the cart. Oops. Okay, so I have those in my cart, and then I thought that this looked kind of interesting. I didn't see too, too many reviews outside of their own website. Of course, on their own website, they had like 95 star reviews, but I feel like that's probably friends and family, family for the most part. Uh, this is Earth Harbor. They are a newer company that have been, they've been all over subscription boxes, and um, they're cruelty free and vegan, vegan. So they're all of these wonderful things and it's a fruit enzyme mask. It's a gel mask as well. So like I was saying, I would use this mask and then I would use that grown alchemist mask afterward because it's a good combo. I like how it feels. Um, so I'm considering getting this. It's a really nice price and I would like to try some of this earth Harbor stuff. Um, I did look up the brand a while ago and it looks like a good brand with good values. Uh, okay, so that's my cart so far. I might cut some. I might not. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and just check out the uh, entire sale and I'll let you know what I think of each of the products, um, what experience I might have with it. and. Here we go. I do remember some people saying that they didn't like this, that it was uh, strange. I, the, I thought it was strange. It was available as a selection in a box like a year or two ago. So they must have a stock that they're finally getting to to uh, get rid of. But um, it's just kind of an awkward garment. It's like a robe, but they don't advertise it as a robe. They show it as something you would wear out and about. I, I just, it's a strange, strange piece of um, clothing to me, to me. If it's your thing, I apologize. I don't mean to offend anybody. Um, so these are also a favorite, these Unhide Blankets. They're a company that was founded by Ellen, I think, um, or she has something to do with it. But I don't love these as much as everybody else, and I have said this before, but my chief complaint is that it's basically like two big squares or rectangles of fabric that are sewn together only at the edges, so the material like slides and shifts around and it doesn't stay in a perfect rectangle, which drives me bonkers when I'm using it, and um, it is very, very soft, but because of that, I don't recommend this. It's also not that big. It's um, definitely just something to put over your legs on the couch while you're watching a show or something. Uh, some people do sleep with them, but I, I think I'm in the minority. A lot of people 
love these, swear by these and have multiples. I have multiples because they came as choices in boxes and I didn't want anything else from those choices. Um, okay, anyway, jewelry, my blanket statement is, now this is a good price for what it is, $7, totally fine. This retail price is offensive for what it is because it is brass with rhodium plating, which is dirt cheap, and cubic zirconia, which is also dirt cheap. So $7, totally a reasonable price. Actually, that's a fantastic price. $59, no way is this worth $59, $59. but if you don't have sensitive skin and you want some cubic zirconia studs, then these would be great, but um, $7, totally reasonable. Um, so as a rule, I just say double check the materials that the jewelry is made out of before you take the plunge, especially if you have sensitive skin. Spend gels, people love them. I am not a sponge gel user. Uh, you could go on the forum, which uh, is right here. So if you go to the FabFitFun website, and then you hover over community and then click on forum. This is where you can talk to other members. So here are all the threads. And if you wanted to start a sponge all thread about, or sponge jelly, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but you could start a thread where um, you talk about all the different scents and fragrances and all of that if you're interested in picking one. And people will help you pick. If I don't know anything about a product, I'm just gonna skip over it, but I will tell you what I know about what I see. Uh, I do know offhand that Dr. Brandt is not cruelty-free, so I don't purchase from them. I do my best to buy as cruelty-free as possible. The way that I decide if something is cruelty-free uh, to a standard that I like is I go to this website, cruelty-free-kitty.com, and, oh, Sorry, my news is telling me something about Britney Spears. Okay, so this is the website. This is the main home page. They did redesign a little bit, but I was looking at it earlier and toward the bottom, if you're interested, you can get like a hard copy cruelty-free guide for our 2021. It's important to stay up to date because companies go cruelty-free or companies become no longer cruelty-free all of the time. So it's important to stay up to date. I have, you know, been purchasing stuff, you know, since 2018 that was cruelty-free and then come to find out they are no longer cruelty-free. They sold, they started selling in China like a year ago or something like that. And I've had that happen to me and that was always frustrating because it would be a holy grail product anyway so you can get this from from them I hadn't seen that before anyway so this is the home page and if you want to search a brand you would click, click on this mic a magnifying glass right here and then we can just put in Dr. Brandt and most stuff is in their database and you can see Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free um, and so also on their homepage, something else I wanted to point out that I also just saw was that you can learn more about their process for how they uh, decide if something is cruelty free right here. We're constantly contacting brands to find out their animal testing policy. Learn more about how we vet brands as being cruelty free. So you can go here and you can learn about their process. So that's that. Dr. Brand's not cruelty free. Aside from that, if that's not something you're interested in uh, learning about or adhering to, um, Dr. Brand does have a good reviews for a lot of their products. I don't I couldn't say so myself though because like I said I've never used it. Kate Somerville is owned by I think it's Estee Lauder. Um maybe Unilever. I'm not sure. I think I had it wrong before so now I'm not confident. But Kate Somerville is an example of a cruelty-free brand, but they're owned by a parent company that's not cruelty-free. So that's a little bit of a gray area for me. I have tried some, I haven't been wowed by any Kate Somerville products that I've tried, but I do know a lot of people like their products quite a bit, but that's my thoughts on Kate Somerville. So I tend to just avoid Kate Somerville for that reason. It's not a brand that I've connected with and they're owned by a parent company that's not cruelty-free. Um, Living Proof is an example of a cruelty-free brand that's owned by Unilever, which is not cruelty-free, and I am a sucker for a lot of Living Proof products, so I do tend to use some of their stuff still. 
Uh, okay. Um, daily concept stuff makes decent body tools like this. I haven't used this one, but I have. They're not fantastic, but they're a good price and they're decent. They're probably on par with what you would find at TJ Maxx, though. Um, Green Goo. These tins are really really well loved i bought this one and i haven't even touched it like two years ago bought it haven't touched it sits in a drawer so i also bought their nursing relief one which i think might be available in this sale too so i'll talk about it when i get to it um these are really really well loved these are hava bath salts i bought them and to be honest i think i got the eucalyptus scent and i put them into my tub and I didn't smell or feel anything but I think that I might not be a bath salt person because I've tried it with I've tried a couple others I tried the bathorium ones too which are really well loved and I didn't smell anything I didn't think it made my bath any better um, but if you are somebody who has muscle tension and inflammation and likes to take baths these are really highly reviewed. It didn't, didn't float my boat, but they could float yours. Um, okay, and then... Uh, Ahava is an example of a brand that was cruelty-free and is no longer cruelty-free. And I learned that recently. Mystery Bundles, oh God, I bought one again in a sale a couple of sales ago and Yet again, I was super disappointed. I have never liked a mystery bundle. I say every time I'm never going to get another one, but I feel like once a year or so, I need to test myself there and I get another one and I'm disappointed yet again. I have a friend who loves them and she'll buy three, like practically every sale. And sometimes she gets awesome mystery bundles and that's partly why I cave and try again, but I have never had good luck with them. So I don't, I don't recommend them, but you may see me getting another one in a few sales just because I can't help myself <laughs> okay let's see these gloves I have decided are better than any body exfoliator you could get they are wonderful you put them in the shower you can rub your soap whatever soap that's also something that's awesome about them is like it's kind of like a diverse body scrub you know you get a body scrub and it's just that one scent and that's it but it, with these gloves you can use your soap you can use any body wash you want and they are very effective very exfoliating you don't have to deal with all the granules and stuff and and I really love these. You can use them on your, they're, they're, they're great. I think these are great. And I have my second pair in my shower right now. And you know what? Add to cart. I'm just going to get a backup pair because they obviously won't last forever. But I have decided that these are better than any body exfoliant I have ever tried. And I don't need to ever try another body exfoliant again as long as I have these. That's my new decision. I actually had that thought process a couple days ago. Uh, okay. Uh, London Town. I really do like their uh, nail polishes. They're not the longest lasting, but they last pretty well. About a week I get out of them. And that's if, you know, I've been doing dishes and I've been bad about wearing gloves and all of that. So they um, last pretty well. And they are 18 free maybe 12 free anyway they are one of those super non-toxic nail polishes they're they're great and the prices in the sale for their stuff is um, really reasonable and the flash dry top coat i do have it and it does help dry your nails more quickly this is i have this and it's a decent eyebrow pencil it is a little thick so if you like a thicker eyebrow pencil, then you'll like this one. If you like one of those really thin ones, like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, that one's really thin and kind of leaves a light line and you have a lot of, I like that a little bit better because you can press harder to get a darker line and then you have a little bit, it's a little bit more like a, 
hair like stroke and this one's a little bit thicker so if you like to just get the solid like color fill in I do also like this kind of a tip but just FYI this is a little bit thicker of an eyebrow pencil uh I also have, do I have this one? Yes, I have this one and it's a good brow gel. It, I, I think it's a just, just fine brow gel, five bucks if you need a brow gel and you have like kind of a medium brown hair. Uh, this is a pretty, this is pretty true to the color. I would say this picture, I have this one, it's in taupe and um, it works, it works. It deposits a fair amount of product. So, you know, if you want something that's a little bit more light handed on depositing product, product I've mentioned in my videos before, the e.l.f. Wow Brow is a little bit more light handed. So um, I would go for that. And the e.l.f. Wow Brow itself is, is this price, like not on sale, so. <laughs> um. Okay, gua sha. I actually was sent a gua sha and I am trying to learn to use it. There's a video by Gothamista uh, and where she really explains in a really good, helpful way. I found it helpful um, how to use a gua sha on your face. It's very important to kind of look it up and, and learn how to use a gua sha before you try to just dive in and use it because you can cause bruising and you don't want that on your face, right? And it can be very effective for um, draining the fluids in your face. So it's not something that I think I will take to, but I was sent one for free. So you know that's nice and I'll keep trying I'll keep trying maybe I'll get into it okay uh, oh they have a blonde billion dollar brows brow gel well, that's nice okay um, invisibobbles these are okay I don't love them I like them better obviously than the traditional elastics uh, not obviously you don't know that obviously but uh, the, they don't leave they don't leave a crease when you use these I have really taken to I have these satin scrunchies from Kitsch that I got on Ulta that I really like they're not huge they're not over the top but they they're great I like them a lot better than the Invisibobbles LMS is another one of those brands that's no longer cruelty free, that has a lot of great stuff, but they're no longer cruelty free. Um, so I'm trying to avoid them. Okay. This looks fun. So this is an example of something that you can probably find on Amazon either cheaper or in a comparable price and with different designs like I'm not really into this particular design so I had never seen anything like this though and I went and looked on Amazon because we do have a pool at my house and they have all kinds of uh, little floaties like this and your what's great about it is your body is actually like submerged underwater it's not one of those pool floaties where you're not in the water anymore you're just sitting right on top I am gonna buy one for sure but not through this site I'm gonna buy one on Amazon I hadn't seen that before it was great I have tried this moisturizer it's not the best best moisturizer that I've ever tried but I like it very much it has Great ingredients, peptides, peptides are our friends. I have drier skin, there's another Grown Alchemist moisturizer in this sale, it's the matte one. So if you have oilier skin, go for the matte one. And if you have drier skin, go for this one, uh, if, you want, if you would like to try it. So um, I use this morning and night, but I do recommend it more as a night cream. It is a little bit on the thicker side and I did feel like it took a little bit of time to absorb. I don't wear makeup on a daily basis. Um, actually, I rarely wear foundation and, and face face makeup. I mean, <laughs> I rarely, rarely wear like foundation and tinted, tinted moisturizers, so I don't know how it wears under foundation. 
Cocoa Floss. I bought this to see what the hype was. I don't think it's any different than any other floss. It's fine. It's a thicker floss. It's not if you have, you know, tightly packed teeth where you don't have a lot of room in between them. Uh, I would stick with the ri ribbon um, kind. This one is, is a little bit on the thicker side. Poopery, people say it works well. I've never tried it. Uh, I am only talking about, well, for the most part, I'm only talking about things that I've actually personally used in this review video. Um, here are the Grown Alchemist Gel Facial Cleanser. I've used this one and it is nice. I didn't love the scent as much as I'd hoped I would. It's definitely more floral <clears throat> and it smells good. So if you like a more floral scent and it's interesting how some people would pick up more on the floral and some people might pick up more on the citrus bergamot I picked up more on the floral when I used it and it was not quite as gentle as I would like for my skin I have dry skin so <clears throat> I wouldn't buy it again <clears throat> excuse me Luxie brushes these are good brushes uh, if you need, if you're in need of some brushes, I do think that those would be a good choice. I haven't used this OSHA product, but I have used their atmospheric moisturizer, which I did like a lot. It came in a Pediver box. That was a great Pediver box. I have, I'm not subscribed to that box anymore, but. Oh, here I have these, and I've talked about them many times because they do show up in the sales. And I'm a big fan of blue light blockers. I think they're very effective, and they definitely help me with eye strain, and especially at night if you're one of those people who will look at a screen at night if you wear those while looking at your screen or when I wear them looking at my screen I find that I'm not nearly as easily hypnotized by the screen and I can get off of the screen much more easily it's really interesting I have this cab cosmetics hydrating lip oil from the from a boxy charm box and I am very pleasantly surprised with it. It's a very good lip oil. To, I use it uh, at night before bed, and I, I that's all. I I don't know much about the company, um, but the I am very pleasantly surprised with it. So look into the company and see if it's a company you feel like supporting, or if you care to do that. Whatever you want to do, but. <laughs> take it take my my uh review is that i'm very pleasantly surprised by it here's the matte balancing moisturizer from grown alchemist that i had mentioned so if you have oily skin and you want to try one of their moisturizers you would use this one i don't know what this one's like i wouldn't use it it wouldn't be for my skin okay so pericone md as a brand um, I see very mixed, very um, polarizing reviews on their stuff. Some people really, really like them, think, think it's worth the price, and some people think that this doctor, Dr. Pericone, is just a big scam artist, doesn't really know what he's doing. Uh, he is a doctor, but um, yeah, doesn't really know what he's doing with his products, and they're just overpriced crap. <laughs> so... That's that's kind of it's kind of interesting to read the reviews on their stuff. I've never tried anything by them. More Luxie brushes. Oh, retinol! I can't wait to be. I can't wait to use retinol again. I've been pregnant and/or breastfeeding for two years now, and I can't wait to use retinol. I love retinol. Oh. 
What's this? A sticker and chill? Interesting. Okay, sorry, I got a little sidetracked there. Um, here's the Grown Alchemist gel mask that's in my cart. I don't tend to go for accessories too much because I feel like, you know, you can find this stuff at TJ Maxx and Ross and I'd like to see it in person. Um, so it's rare that I'll go for accessories, so I don't know too much about that. Same with clothes. People seem to be really into the clothes, and overall what I can tell from reading on the forum is that uh, people are having good experiences with clothes. Maybe the people with bad experiences aren't speaking up so much, but usually people with the bad experiences speak up more, I feel. So um, people are having good experiences with the clothes. Oh, you can get an extra FabFitFun summer box. I really liked the summer box. But you won't be able to pick what you get. So that's 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 a drawback. But it's uh, 40 bucks. That's a good price. Okay. I used this. I bought it in a sale a long time ago. And it is very strange. So it is like a solid bar in this tub and it comes with two little sponges, round sponges that you wet and you use, you scrub, you rub it on top of the bar and then you use the sponge to uh, clean your face. There are a couple of things that really annoyed me about that. I, I didn't like this product. I ended up getting rid of it. It has really good reviews, but uh, one I didn't like about it is keeping the sponge clean. I the, the a sponge, an added thing like that for your face cleanser, the sponge is gonna be just uh, it's gonna be bacteria ridden so quickly, and so I don't like that. The second thing I didn't like is that using the sponge, the sponge wasn't super super soft so it acted like a physical exfoliator which I try to limit how much physical exfoliation I do on my face I personally um, don't think it's that great for our skin and our skin barrier and all of that so I didn't like that and then also just kind of the clunkiness of having this extra sponge that you needed to use to get the product out and then transfer it to your face it's just awkward it's strange packaging I'd rather it just be like a bar that you have outside of this tub and you can rub it in your hands and then rub it on your face then I would have liked it probably quite a bit more um, this one is for oily skin so definitely make sure that if you don't have oily skin you don't get this because it would be super drying for you um, it also has palm kernel oil, which I would I try to avoid palm oil of any kind because of the deforestation. It, although this says country of or uh, yeah, because of deforestation associated with palm oil. So this is not a product I would recommend at all. Okay, okay, so here is the Nursing Comfort Green Goo. I bought this while I was pregnant with my first baby, not knowing that I was going to get a big tube of lanolin in the hospital. So your medical provider might provide you with the lanolin you need, and that'll be all you'll need. I have this. I had, didn't even open it. It, it I don't even know where it is. It's somewhere, but I did buy this, and I did not need to. This, let's see, Elemis is no longer cruelty free, but I do know that the marine cream, this is, a, this has great reviews. These, this little combo here, I have it, I haven't gotten around to using it yet, um, but it is, it has great reviews, so I'm looking forward to trying it. It's not cheap, but 
uh dr brand i do know that this also has great reviews this is a very this is very clunky packaging it's like this big plastic cube and then in the egg shape you see here is where the cream is well, i guess in here in the bottom part of the egg shape but uh, i remember when this was first available people were really really into it i think you might be able to get this in the fabfitfun what's that called the re something the, pres the prescription the subscription where you can get or uh, something on a seasonal basis so i'm not sure maybe i'm wrong about that but i do like that they have that Okay, and I have used this Grown Alchemist Brightening Serum, and I have a lot of dark spots. I think I'm a tough customer for brightening and evening my skin tone, anything that is supposed to do that. I didn't see any difference when I used this, but I have never seen any difference when I've used anything for that purpose. So, like I said, I may be a tough customer, but this was a waste of money. didn't do anything for me. Okay, yoga mats. If you are a beginner, I would caution against getting a yoga mat that you can't see and feel and maybe even test out. Uh, a yoga mat can make or break your yoga session. So I was lucky. We got, I was lucky to have already known that I love yoga and we got in one of our boxes the foldable yoga mat and that was a terrible yoga mat it was thin i tried to use it and i was sliding all over the place and if that were my first impression of yoga i would have decided yoga was i would have decided yoga sucked and it wasn't for me but so i really just be careful if you're going to try this and you have never tried yoga before a good like again a good mat can make or break the yoga session so i would definitely try out some yoga mats if you before you decide to purchase one if you're going to do that okay i have yet to try avant skincare i have two of their products now from I think it won from a mystery bundle that I didn't like. Uh, so I am I'm excited to try their stuff and then one from a boxy charm. So I have a couple other things. I'll let you know what I think of them in a future product review video, but I don't know anything about those things. Oh, I do know something about this. So this was a highly raved about, about product. When it first became available, it was around when I first joined like two and a half years ago. And I, uh, people really loved it but it smells god awful and despite the fact that it smelled god awful people were raving about this so finally i caved and tried to, and got it and tried it i got about halfway through and then decided i just couldn't do it anymore it does have a great consistency it does absorb really nicely it's ex exceptionally expensive at 150 dollars retail and i did a really in-depth review in one of my product review videos on it and it's because of this this ingredient here the corsican immortelle this flower is very very difficult to harvest and you need a boatload of it to get like very little oil and that was the reason it was it's so expensive it is way down on the ingredients list so i don't even know how much of it they use but anyway i did a big i did a detailed product review video on it I couldn't I couldn't do it anymore the smell was just too much for me and I had to stop using it so that's my impression I don't think that the way it smells is worth it it smelled like some people said it smelled like burnt tires to them I just I can't quite remember I guess that's a good way to describe it I didn't quite agree with that description but it smells really it's really strong and really hard to take so Okay, um, <laughs> okay, this Grown Alchemist product, you can tell I'm a Grown Alchemist fan, I've used a lot of their stuff. Um, this is a deep cleansing facial mask. This is basically like a clay mask and it is one of the best clay masks I have ever used. It smells wonderful. 
uh, very botanical, very natural smelling, but it smells, it smells, it's quite strong, um, but you know, very herbal. And the one thing I have to say about this, and I, I've said it a few times, sometimes I sound like a broken record, but very important is that on this product, I would definitely highly, highly recommend that you try to use it within the 12 months of opening it. Here you can see the period after opening um, is 12 months. So that's how long it's good for once you've opened the product. And I still have mine and I've had it for two years, I think, and it is nowhere near as nice to use anymore. It's still nice. I'm still trying to use it up, but it is wonderful uh, if you can use it. Use it when it's still fresh. It definitely degrades. There is always a point in sales where I start scrolling through like bundles. Oh, okay. Uh, here's more beauty, beauty products. But where I, what I was going to say is where I start scrolling through like bundles and um, techie electronics and, and accessories where I don't know or have much to say because as I mentioned before, I, with the, accessories like things like this i'll just look on amazon or elsewhere you can usually find it cheaper or comparably priced where you have a way to return it if you don't like it i've heard people get into some like difficulties with needing to exchange or return items with fabfitfun so there with <laughs> there are times when i get into these sales and i just scroll and scroll because i don't have anything to say but um Electronics, let's just touch on electronics. That's basically what I have to say about that is definitely look on Amazon, else look elsewhere and, and try to get it elsewhere if you are interested in something like that. I guarantee you can you can find it uh, comparably priced to the sale price. Oh, well, I don't guarantee you. I have had it happen where it's like, oh, it actually is a really, really good deal on FabFitFun, but most of the time you can find it on Amazon. Uh, I am I am intrigued by this brand. This is a Canadian brand that's cruelty free and clean, and I, I'm just intrigued. I will be trying them at some point. Holy Frog is a really well loved. Uh, they make face wash. I almost bought some in a sale before, but I realized I had a whole bunch of face wash. I am pretty well stocked. That's also another reason why my cart is so skimpy. I'm really well stocked right now, so I don't need much. I don't need anything, really. This, this is a lot of wine. This is 32 ounces of wine. A bottle of wine is like 24 ounces or something. So this is a lot of wine. Just, 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 just FYI. That's a lot. Uh, no judgment. As someone, I'm almost five years sober. So I look at that and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of wine. <laughs> uh... Okay, I have this cleanser, the Graydon Skin Care Skin Care Aloe Milk Cleanser. I have seen really great reviews for people from people who like milk cleansers. I love milk cleansers because 
I have dry skin. It's great for dry skin. Fantastic for dry skin. Fantastic for sensitive skin too, I would say for the most part. Um, this is a really, really nice gentle milk, milk, milk cleanser. There's something in the ingredients that has a scent. It, there's a scent to it that I don't really like and I don't know what it is. It might be it's probably one of these oils, um, so check out the oils, see if there's something you could put your finger on that you don't, like, I don't know, it might be one of these flower oils, I haven't heard of this one, but there's a scent that uh, really turns me off in it, um, but I haven't heard anyone else say that, but uh, besides that, it's a great milk cleanser, super gentle. Uh, and the company is is really good too. I think she's a vegan chef and she started this skincare company, if I remember correctly, from her website. I, I've done, I usually do a lot of reviews, um, no, research, not reviews, research on the brands that are available in the sales, but I am um, six months pre pregnant with a one-year-old who is just getting over a really, really bad fever cold thing it wasn't a cold it was just a fever it got up to 105.7 so I haven't done the research that I typically try to do for this sale but I'm telling you what I know specifically about products that I've used oh this one this Ooh, I can't quite remember, but it's been available in sales before. Hey Honey is a really highly rated brand. This is it on Ulta. If you're interested in this, there are tons of reviews on this product in, on Ulta. I almost bought it at one point, but I have tons of masks. This is the first retinol serum I have ever used, and it was a wonderful introduction to retinol, and I do recommend it if you are interested in trying retinol or you like retinol. It does smell like lemon, which uh, for me, does I get the lemon pledge memory, and then it kind of annoys me, which is a thing I think a lot of people have, but um, I do recommend this if... Uh, you like retinol and you don't mind that lemon pledge scent, then I would go for this. Okay, so the Opalen stuff, I did see really poor reviews after someone used it from uh, buying it in a prior sale. Um, that's all I, I think it was just one person, but really poor reviews. This Laura Davgen brand is really interesting. She is a doctor with, lives in New York, Manhattan with her six children. It's kind of like, no wonder she needs these prices on her products. I don't know if it's as good as it, it should be for those prices, but they, her stuff does have really good reviews. I believe it's, they're available on Sephora. I'm always tempted to just get a Kate Spade purse. This would be awesome for work, but I just can't. Is this, what's is the material on this out of curiosity? It's polyester, it's not even leather. Huh. Sometimes the descriptions on these um, products I questioned though also. Juice Beauty products in general, I want to love that brand, but I just can't get into them. I've tried, I tried a salicylic acid serum actually that was pretty decent, but overall I just can't get into them and whenever there's something available I look in, into it and it doesn't have the best reviews. Um, anyway, 
Okay. <laughs> See here now I'm getting into a lot of like gadgets and uh, other kinds of things. I don't tend to buy this stuff through FabFitFun sales. Hmm. <laughs> been scrolling for a while. There hasn't been something I've tried myself. Oh, here we go. So the PMD Clean. I just got it in the summer box, and I am not big on face tools for my for my face my skincare routine when I cleanse. Um, but this one's fine. It's silicone. You can keep it uh, pretty clean and it's not going to be too much of a physical exfoliator on your skin. Um, I couldn't get into this. It vibrates like a vibrator. Like it feels like I'm, I'm a woman. My husband brought, bought me a vibrator. I have a vibrator. It is a lot like my vibrator. It feels like I'm rubbing my vibrator on my face. And I'm just gonna say it. I, I'm sure some of you other women have felt this way too. And I just, I, I tried to use it and I couldn't. It, it was just hilarious to me. I couldn't get into it. So I will try to get past that and really give it a go because it is very highly rated, very well loved. These tools, I don't think they really do much for your skin. They're just kind of a novelty and nice and maybe luxurious and and <laughs> but I just couldn't get past that and it has I think it has like two settings but they're both very vibratey so um if you want to read if you have this and you want to you know repurpose it you could do that too um anyway I just found it to be so funny <laughs> uh I was really getting a kick out of it um okay This thing's pretty. I think this is pretty. I can really see it on my sister-in-law. Anyway. If you have anything to share, definitely leave it in the comments below. Or if you've heard differently about any of these products, definitely share your opinion. I don't claim to be an expert on any of this. Yeah, lots of gadgets and accessory type things and clothes. These are things that I don't buy. Uh, just as a rule for um, hair tools, uh, definitely the same feedback really as I had for the electronics. Just make sure it's something that you really like, you see a lot of good reviews for, and you know you're going to like it. If you're looking at a hair tool and you can't find anything on it, 
I would recommend just not getting it from the sale and finding a hair tool that you might want to try from Ulta where you can return it or from Amazon where you can return it. Um, I just wouldn't do it here. I did buy my hair straightener from a Fab Hit Fun sale and I love it, but it had a lot of reviews. So, and it was $29. It retails for like a hundred. So, uh, that one was a good bet, a good safe bet. But if you're not quite able to find a lot of reviews and you're kind of torn, just don't get it. Just get it from somewhere else where you can return it. I'm going slowly um, in case any of you are watching this just to get the reveal of what's in the sale too. Uh, okay. And here's the stuff that's currently out of stock. If something's out of stock and you're really bummed about it, what you can do is you can click this heart and it will add it to your favorites. And then you can go to your favorites and you can see here, I'll show you from here. You can see that item in your favorites. And you can hope and hope and hope it comes back into stock. So you can see it there and then you can snag it that way. That way you don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll through the sale, hoping something that comes back in stock. You can just go to your favorites page. I haven't tried these, but these look so lovely to use if you put them in the freezer and rub them on your face. Oh, that looks amazing. I have tried this hand cream and I didn't like it. There was a scent in it that just wasn't for me. I think it was the shea butter. Sometimes things with shea butter have like a weird fragrance of crayon to me and it's very subtle but it's there and it really bothers me. Um, oh, I have a Ciate London translucent setting pattern. So it's not at this exact one, but I do like it a lot. Uh, so maybe if this one's anything like it, this one would be good. Um, Ciate London, their stuff used to be made in Italy and now it's made in China. So I don't know about that. The first ingredient here is talc. I know a lot of people like to avoid that. Mica is kind of a problematic ingredient as well. It's very, very depressing. There is um, a Refinery29 video on the mica mining. It's mined by children in India. Um, and it's very, very depressing. So mica is a ingredient that can make you, will make you want to cry if you watch that Refinery29 video. It's so sad. I cried through that whole thing. <laughs> And it's in so much of our, so many beauty products. Oh, what is this? $24.99. What's in here? Oh, I didn't see this. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. I'm gonna favorite this. <laughs> I missed this one. That has, okay, so I, I am such a sucker for this body glow oil stuff, but then I get it and I never use it. Here's something, you know, a good gift, a beach towel, who doesn't need a beach towel? Tula skincare, cooling and brightening eye bum. Oh, I'm not really into that. Uh, this looks great, you know, it's, oh, it has niacinamide and it's, I, okay, <laughs> maybe I won't get it, but I totally overlooked this summer 2021 box. Here is a great example of something that you can get on Amazon for much cheaper. Unless you love this design, which it is super, super cute, I would check Amazon. You can get like a six pack for 20 bucks of these, and this is a two pack, so, um, but I didn't know this kind of thing existed. I Definitely will keep that in mind, but highly recommend you get them on Amazon instead.
more clothes see people really are into the clothes a lot of the clothes are out of stock um and they are super cute i just have one of those bodies where i can't rely that something's going to look as good on me as it does on these beautiful models um so i need to be able to try it on uh, so that's it. That's the end of the sale. I uh, hope you found some of this helpful. Like I said, I usually try to do more research, but I have had a sick child and a huge work deadline and I'm six months pregnant. Excuses, excuses. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.